Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fantasy Football, and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at how well my team performed in Game Week 16 and my team set up for Game Week 17. I'm also going to talk to you guys about the blank and the double Game Week. So here we go. Now, before I continue, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Now, 2020 has been, uh, it's been a horrible year. It's been a horrible year for a lot of us. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of adjustments, um, a lot of things has happened. And, uh, and, I, and I hope the new year will, you know, will change all that. And, um, you know, with me, like, I'm... I'm I'm lucky to you know to be here to be creating videos for you guys, um, you know playing the game, enjoying the game that we love, which is FPL, to kind of like remove ourselves from from the real world. Um, but it's it's quite difficult, you know. Things does um, affect you outside. Um, but all, all I want to say is, you know, if you if anyone needs help, if anyone wants to talk, um, please like. DM me on my Twitter, um, you know, we can we can talk about things. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm here to help as much as I can. Um, so it's just not FPL. You know, I, I want to do things. I want to do things to change things. So, um, yeah, I, I hope 2021 will be different. Uh, we might have a little bit of a, a rocky start, but I think later on um, throughout the year, it should get better. Um, so I'm hoping for that, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, yeah, it has been a horrible year. Let's hope that 2021 will be better. Let's hope that we will get a green arrow. Let's hope that we'll get a better rank towards the end of the season. Now, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe in and always, always drop a like on the video. So let's go through the team. As you can see for game week 16, I got 54 points above the average of 37 and I made one free transfer. I removed KDB for Song. The only reason I did that is because, um, you know, Tottenham had a great fixture against Fulham and against Leeds. Uh, and I thought, you know what, I need some kind of cover. I, I really want to kind of like um, stop myself from dropping, uh, you know, a little bit more further backwards in, in the ranks. Um, and yeah, and that transfer didn't work out because the Manchester City game against Everton and uh, Spurs versus uh, Fulham game was postponed. Yeah, it has been a, a horrible, weird game week. Like, I'm not going to sit here and show off and tell you, oh, I'm the best, I got 54 points. I don't, I don't do that. You guys know me. <clears throat> yes, I got a really good game week, but it has been a horrible game week for a lot of people. And these are the things that we absolutely have no control. All we can do is do our best and have a little bit of a luck and hope that we get a good um, like kind of like points and to get a green arrow So yeah, let's go through the team. So yeah, as you can see Martinez here with three points And you know, I wasn't really expecting him to keep a clean sheet. Uh, I spoke to you guys about that in my previous video uh, Robertson, I did expect him to keep a clean sheet and get some good returns uh, Really good like performance from him giving himself nine points There was a lot of uh, talk in the FPL community that he was going to be benched. You know, what? I don't even read the Twitter uh, feed uh, like timeline anymore, you know. I just kind of like go in there, um, just have fun and just do a little bit of banter here and there, um, and just and get out because it's just it's just horrible. Justin here with two, um, played really well. Dallas, Dallas, what a player! This this transfer that I made like a couple of weeks ago has has definitely paid off. Um, this time he didn't score a goal, he actually assisted and he got a clean sheet and he's got max bonus three points, which is amazing. A lot of people are trying to get Dallas in their team because of the double game week. Now me, I'm pretty much set, but there's a few adjustments that I need to make and there has been some announcements of some of the fixtures being moved into the blank and the double game week. So we'll go through that in a sec, guys. So I'm going to go through this quite quick because people are going to, you know, no one cares about this anymore. Song and Cavard Lewin, you know, their fixtures were postponed. So I got Suchek, Basuma, and Mitchell from the bench. Um, Salah was my captain. Didn't work out this time, but he had a couple of good chances. Didn't put them away. Uh, the goalkeeper for Newcastle actually did really well. Uh, Fernandez 
uh, returning with an assist, Bissouma with two. Adams, uh, they, I think they could be a little bit of an injury there. I'm not certain if it's too serious, but I have to make sure because if he is, then I need to remove. Then we've got Bamford here uh, with two assists. One of the assists was a bit controversial, but it's fine. He's in my team. I don't care. <laughs> so eight points there. And uh, yeah, really good. I said at the end of the year, I would love to get to that 500k mark um, and uh, then push on to, to 250. Um, 50 points behind the top 100k. So there is a massive chance for me to get there with about two or three game weeks. So really exciting times for me. Hopefully that I can uh, push on and get more green arrows. Now, before I go to the team, I made no transfers, right? Make no transfers, and as you can see, game week 17 is basically a normal game week, right? Normal game week. I'm just having a quick look just in case that I don't miss anything out because there has been a couple of fixtures moved around. So, as you can see, for game week 18, which is a blank game week 18, where this fixture here, Burnley versus Manchester United, wasn't there, and this was the fixture that was missing from game week one. And they have moved that fixture in game week one to this game week. And this kind of changes, well, it doesn't change anything for me because I'm going to be free hitting and I can go for like Manchester United players or even Burnley players if I wanted to. So this gives us more options. Like for me, if I count how many players I have for the blank game week, I've got, okay, I've got Mitchell, but I don't expect him to play. Uh, I've got uh, Song, I've got Martinez, I've got no Manchester City players, I've got Busuma, uh, I've got Cavalurian, and I've got Fernandez. That's six players. Remove Mitchell, that's five players. Remove Busuma, I don't think he's going to get us four players. You know, it's not a lot of good players. And uh, that means that I'm still going to be free hitting. And this time, I'm going to be having Manchester United players like uh, um, Bruno Fernandez or Rashford if I wanted to. So that gives us a lot more options. Um, so it's not going to change my um, strategy. I'm basically going to like uh, free hit in, in the blank game week 18. Now, you might have a, a completely different situation. Um, you might This might actually work out for a lot of people that doesn't have the free hit. You might have um, like seven to eight players. You know, we've taken one or two hits. Nine players. That's, that's enough, you know, you don't have to get a full 11. And plus, you got to look at the game week 19, which is the double, where it's even bigger, because Manchester City had a fixture here, as you can see, against Crystal Palace. And not many managers are going for the Manchester City uh, players, because they only got, you know, one fixture. They're going for the other players. But now... The fixture that was meant to be played in game week one that got postponed in game week one has been moved into the double game week. Manchester City's fixture against Aston Villa has moved here. So that means a lot of people would want a Manchester City player. So it has changed a little bit on the double game week um, players to kind of pick out from. But my strategy is still going to be the same. It all depends on what player I want, right? So for this, I think a lot of people is going to have the players that they need. They're good. Everyone's probably going to have a decent amount of double game week players. And now we've got Manchester City players to kind of pick out from. And Aston Villa, to be honest with you. You know, the Jack Grealish is going to have a double game week. You know, Martinez. So this actually works out really well for me. Because I was thinking to go and get Fabianski. And now I can maybe try and get in... Um, K, you know, Kevin De Bruyne or maybe Sterling and removing Song. So the transfer has changed a slight, like a little bit. But anyways, enough of that. But that's kind of a, a, a thing that we need to know. We need to see what's happening. But yeah, let's go through the team. But anyways, guys, we've got to go through game week by game week. Game week 17 now. I do have some transfer thoughts. I'm going to go through my team. But the best strategy that I can give you is to hold your transfer as long as you can. There could be more injuries. There could be more rotation. There could be more postponements. Um, and now that the fixtures that was removed from game week one, um, the two fixtures, one fixture went to the blank game week, one fixture went to the double game week, that kind of... I think that has changed a lot of transfer force. 
now we might be thinking of a, another like different plan now i don't need to remove martinez uh from my team to go and get fabianski or something like that because fabianski has got a double game week um fixture in game week 19. but anyways let's go through it Martinez here at home against Manchester United. I think this is a good fixture for Aston Villa, to be honest with you. Um, Manchester United hasn't really been scoring a lot of goals at home lately. So this could this could work out here. Justin, uh, away against Newcastle. I can see like a low-scoring um, game here. Hopefully that he does play. I do have some backup um, from my bench, which is good. Uh, Robertson against Southampton. Uh, again, um, you know, Adams and Ings are not scoring. You know, Ings has come back, um, which is good news because I really do like Ings. So hoping that this could be a, a decent fixture for, for Liverpool. Uh, Dallas and Banford um, against Tottenham. I think this is going to be a high scoring game. So that's why I'm actually going with Song as my captain. Now, Mitchell, I'm, I think that he might actually play. Uh, he played well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him play. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it give him a chance. Um, I do have Suchek. That might change my mind, um, but I'm just gonna leave it as this. Uh, Salah uh, against Southampton. Um, Song is gonna be my captain. Fernandez is a great great captain option as well. Please be aware of your uh, captain and vice. Your especially your vice captain. Um, have it on different days. I think that's the best kind of strategy there. Uh, Cavard Lewin against West Ham, uh, Adams against uh, Liverpool, and uh, Bamford against uh, Tottenham. Like I said, I've got Suchek, James, and Busuma. So uh, players there that could help me out as well. Now, as for my transfers, um, it's kind of slightly changed a little bit. Instead of me removing Martinez for Fabianski, I'm going to keep Martinez. Um, because the Manchester City game against Aston Villa has now been moved to game week 19. So now Aston Villa has two fixtures in game week 19, which is fantastic. So I don't need to make that transfer, which means that I can make other transfers. Now, one of the transfers that I wanted to do is remove Cabot Lewin and uh, to bring in Jamie Vardy. And as you can see, I've got 1.5 in the bank still. And... Uh, let me just have a quick look. Song, 11.2. Interesting. Okay. So if it's 11.2, basically what I want to do here is I want to bring back KDB. Oh, it's fine though. It is absolutely fine. I want to bring back uh, Kev Kevin De Bruyne here. And then I can remove James or anyone that is injured. And uh, I can bring in, I don't know, any, any, any player that is around that price tag maybe another you know Leeds United and and there we go um I'm not going to bench boost obviously I'm going to be using my triple captain chip on Salah and I've got Vardy and I've got uh, Kevin De Bruyne I, I've got a, an amazing team so what I will do is I will just play this team right here so we got what double 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 there you go I'm set I'm set, I'll be taking a minus four point hit, which is fine, which is completely fine. You know, I got my wild card. I can do something a little bit different there, but I'm going to stick with the plan. I'm not going to try and negate the, the free hit move in game with gating and do something completely different. Um, a lot of people might do that, but for me, I'm just going to stick with the plan and I'm just going to go with it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This video is a little bit longer than usual. Hopefully that you guys will like it. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a lot of information here uh, because I'm not going to be creating a video uh, tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. It's been a crazy year, but you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much for the support. I'm going to be continue as usual. Uh, please subscribe. Always, always drop a like on the video. You know, when it gets to that 200 likes, it's fantastic for my channel and yeah follow me on twitter so dms are always open guys so please message me if you've got any issues and i'll do my best to help out 500k mark 50 points behind the top 100 uh k not 100 um you know and 20 or 25 points behind top 200 250k it's good it's good the free hit i'm going to be using 
there's the double game week and maybe triple captain in Salah in that game week 19 and maybe I could get a lot of points and gain more points. We'll see you guys and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.